Hello, welcome to my latest video. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, putting together the breadboard with the Raspberry Pi Zero and using an Adafruit cobbler. Um, as you can see, the cobbler is um, quite a handy little piece of kit which saves you connecting lots and lots of little connectors onto the GPI Pipo pins of the Pi itself. Um, this saves damaging the Pi. It, um, it also saves you having to look up the GPIO uh, pin arrangements because um, they're actually printed on the cobbler itself. One thing I thought I'd um, point out actually is the the white stripe on the edge of the ribbon that needs to connect in a certain way to the Pi because obviously the connection could be one of two ways connect it around the wrong way and that's not going to be good so the ribbon with the white stripe the white stripe needs to connect to the top of the Pi as you look at it if you have the memory card at the top um, then you see it here um, push it into the breadboard and then you've got an extension of the GPIO pins going straight into your breadboard um, it's really handy and you can see now just connecting up the 5 volt connector to the rail which is 5 volts coming out of the Adafruit cobbler. I'm uh, connecting this up because it's uh, preparation for the next thing which I'm going to work on which will involve the um, the thermistor with the three wires. Um, it's quite hot here at the moment so I thought I'd do some tinkering with temperature sensors. Just connecting the ground there as well. The yellow cable, that's the, um, the, the one cable which is the, the data going from the thermistor, which, uh, yeah, that'll be in the next video. Um, this really is just um, a little chat about the cobbler, which is a really nice product, and I just thought I'd show how to connect it up with the white, the white ribbon, the white uh, 